Today I am playing Minecraft and this particular Minecraft recording is going to be a little long because I am actually going to be dealing with like a three day raid, almost a four day raid of the same raid. Um, you'll see it. So this recording I think is about 40 minutes. So if you have time to look at it, if you want to look at it and you can enjoy it. Um, I cut it up as, as, as good as I could so that it wouldn't be so long but as you can see I started hearing like something happening like I started hearing like the noise of these particular mobs here and I didn't know where they were and then I found them and it just seemed like in my game as I mentioned before in some of my other gameplay I'm always dealing with raids and it's not only on my area where I live at in the village I can be at anyone else's village and there's going to be a raid happening so my game spawns raids a lot so at this point when I realize after killing them and I feel like I'm marked and I can see the little bubbles coming out It's time for me to run and so I'm running at this part Getting back to the village as fast as I can. Thank goodness. I didn't fall down that particular hole but um, My game just seemed to have spawn like raids all the time um, As you see as the game as I get closer and closer to my village you're gonna see like a particular area where I just put up the the flags there or the banners just hang them there and just leave them there and that's just the amount of raids that i've actually dealt with in my game so once i actually get back to the village where i am um the raid is going to start so this is the wall i'm talking about i have dealt with so many raids and some of the raids like um the banners or flags i put up there they're not there i actually i think i I think I burned some of them I think <laughs> I think I put some of them in the fire or something like that but it's been quite a few it's been quite a few in my game so right now I'm going in and as soon as I get in there the raid is gonna start so this raid like I said has actually it's going to be like a three-day raid in that particular villager I did not know he was stuck over there but he's actually stuck in that corner I thought basically he just ran over there uh, but when I got there, he actually is pretty much stuck. And so uh, me ringing the bell really didn't make any sense because the villagers have already ran into their homes. And so um, this is just me, in my opinion, getting ready for to do battle because I, with the village that I, I live in, I like staying with the villagers. Um, I have a fence around the whole entire village. And it is so that um, I don't have to deal with raids. Now that particular thing there, um, it is a great idea of Melanin Sims. Um, I know I I talk about it a little. I'll talk about it a little bit more. But um, in this particular gameplay, as I mentioned, uh, it is a three day to four day raid and this is only part one now part two will be a little bit smaller um, not so long but this is me going around you know locking the villagers into the homes or wherever they are hiding and I didn't really have to do that because I have this fence around uh, the whole entire village but I just felt like let me do it anyway you know and so I want to work on the village a little bit more. I just want to change all the buildings. I don't want them all looking the same. All that wood area. But this particular raid, as I said, it was like almost four days. And so I took uh, the pets out thinking that, okay, they might come in here. But reality... They didn't get in the first time, so why would they get in this time? But this is just my way of just preparing for it. Now, in my game, as I mentioned, I deal with a lot of raids, and it could be just anywhere. I can be actually um, just looking around, just looking for something, or just collecting uh, supplies just so I can have more things to do in the village and have more things so I don't have to go out so much. And I, it just seemed like my game just spawn rates. Um, I can be at, like I mentioned, any other village or just my village and I will experience a raid, no matter what. 
and so um, this is the beginning of it where it's just really slow it's not much happening I'm just running around trying to make sure the villagers are you know okay and that they're not running out and running around but they're actually all hiding so there's one villager he's always hiding in there I call it like the barn area and so the other areas where I'm, I'm putting up this there's no villagers in there but I don't know if you deal with the same thing that I deal with I'm always dealing with raids in my game which I don't mind it it's really fun and it, it brings a lot of you know fun things to do and be creative as far as protecting the village like I said he's just I didn't know he was stuck over there but he's actually stuck over there um it brings like you know new ways for me to battle uh battle them when they come but um this is after me trying to find the last two because um, the other ones after this, I could not find them, so I'm thinking they fell in the water. Because I have a section around uh, on the other side where there's just uh, water. And I believe that that's exactly where they fell. So you can see it's nighttime now. And I am just trying my best trying to deal with it. Um, so he runs in there. <laughs> he runs in there. But uh, it is just ridiculous. It's like... I, I never dealt with like a three-day raid now I've dealt with a raid at another village where um, it wasn't three days and it was my village where I lived so I knew that I can go back home I can run and get away now my pets uh, you'll see me backing up a bit because they were like in the way and I can't kind of get this up here and I don't know why he's going around circles but for some reason he's going around circles in there um and these villagers, I don't know, they just spawn in here all the time. And so, uh, luckily nothing was coming in and getting in, so I was able to get them out. And luckily the cows just stayed in there because normally cows and sheep and pigs, they always try to get out. They split real fast, but they, for some reason, they started spawning in there. I don't know. I would wake up and after my character is asleep and they would, like, every other day would be a new one in there with the cows. And it was hard to get them out because um, the cows would actually try to follow them. But, um, like I said, my game, it just seems like no matter what I do, my game just always spawn, uh raids it's always a new raid every other like every two days if i'm playing it two days you know the character like the you know uh, minecraft time two days i will have maybe a raid almost happening and sometimes i will see them out just like the way i saw them walking like that and i would go the other way and it just seemed like they're always looking for me or looking for a village to cause havoc in and it just seemed like this time they found me and they were able uh, to find a way to come to start havoc. So this raid, sorry, I'm moving my headphones. Uh, this raid, it is like a pretty much almost a four-day raid. Um, the good, the good thing is I'm inside of the wall, so they can't get in here. But imagine if I did not have this wall around the particular area they would be able to destroy this entire village so this part of the game what i'm doing uh, i'm just looking for this last mob he's somewhere i don't know where he is and then finally i find him he walks over here and fall into the water um what i want to try to do for my village is actually build like a a area where water is around the outside but a little distance and then built like a walking bridge where I can have like a door on each. So I want to build one on each side of the uh, wall. That way I can kind of keep them away. Because as I mentioned, I deal with a lot of a lot of raids, not mobs, but a lot of raids in my game. And um, normally it is not at the village, but I've had like this is the second one. But the first one they tried to do, they tried to apparently go underground. 
and I kept hearing like it, the raid was going to start, but I would never see anyone. Well, this one here, they were able to get around the wall. They tried their best, best to get into here. Um, you'll see like further in the game, like some of the stuff that uh, the characters were trying to do to get in. Um, but uh, this raid is, it's a little long. As I mentioned, it is pretty much almost a four day raid. So you'll see me fighting sometimes at night and in the daytime. Um, I've never dealt with a raid this long. Now I've dealt with a raid where I had to deal with tough characters, but it wasn't really a whole bunch of them. And I think just because this gate is around the whole entire village is the reason that they're doing that. And so I don't know exactly what else they would do to get inside the village. Uh, I don't know, but in this instant, it just seems like uh, it's a little longer than I dealt with with the other ones. So, so my uh, pants. What I'm trying to do is put this down, this cobblestone down, because they keep getting in the way, and um, so I can't get it down. So I'm gonna just go over here and hop on this little area where I normally keep them at uh, in this area. Um, and the reason I keep them in there, you know, of course, they actually follow you wherever you go. And so I'd rather keep them in there. I also have cats, but they're actually inside of my home that's in this village. Um, they're downstairs, and you'll see a little bit of them, a little bit of them. I have quite a few cats, and um, I've learned to stop, you know, giving them food because, of course, they're going to mate. So I knew there was going to be a continuation of this raid after killing him. I knew that. But I did not know it after the fourth time of killing some of these these mobs, it would be more and more and more and more raid after that continuously. So it became more and more and more, you know, uh, raids. Now I've dealt with the witches before and I've dealt with the uh, character. I think he has something where he can extend and try to get you if he sees you. Um but it is just it, it was a little longer than I anticipated for it to be
Now, at this point, I realized that I was going to be dealing with more than that particular one. Because for some reason, I felt like I was hearing another one that was around there. And it wasn't just that one. So, I'm just thinking like, okay. Like, I just realized maybe this other particular mob is going to come. The one with the long arm. So, that's why you see me just sitting here thinking like, okay, I'm running out of bow and arrows too. Where is the guy with the bow and arrow? So, but that's when I start realizing, okay, I think I'm going to be dealing with two of these gigantic, uh, particular bulls. I think they're bulls. Um, I'm going to be dealing with two of them because I can kind of like hear another one, but I wasn't really for sure. So, as I said, this particular, uh, raid was a little bit different and I think it was more different because of the fact that the village has this wall around it. As I mentioned before, in my other Minecraft gameplay, I actually love putting walls around the whole entire village because it helps you in so many ways when you're dealing with rays that are coming to the village. Now, as I mentioned, uh, these particular mobs actually went underground one time. Um, under where there was a space there's like um, a particular area that they were able to go under to try to get to the village and it's 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 under there and so what I'm gonna eventually do is close that off so they won't try to do that but um, as I mentioned it, it's the raid just after I killed that particular bull um, the raid was still going on so as you see this is like part one because it was very long um, because I had to deal with so much in the raid but um, it, it was a it was not hard but it was a little bit of fight and strategy trying to figure out you know how to not be so close to the edge but building this particular uh, house for the villagers this particular one turned out to really help me a lot in fighting this raid
so at this point in the game what I'm doing is I'm putting my pets up because I actually don't want them to get hurt by the witches I still don't know how that other pet got in there without me putting him uh, in there but he was automatically in there maybe it was because I was fighting with those other mobs but um, for me I would rather them be in here than get hit with that and then lose one of them because some of them um, are actually uh, were breeded from the other ones that I actually um, tamed to come home with me and so I don't really want to lose all my pets and so normally this is like well this is actually where I keep them so they don't get hurt if there's a raid or anything crazy coming to the village and so I like to keep them in here and one of the villagers actually go in there and, and just sit with them for like just stand there with them for a little bit of a while so that's why I'm actually putting them in there because I don't really want them to get hurt <laughs> Okay, in this particular part, you're going to see like a circle go around a particular object. That particular object is a idea that came from uh, a, a particular gamer who created the uh, idea of doing this. And then uh, another YouTuber that I follow, which is Melanin Sim, she shared how she was able to follow uh, his idea in creating it and so i actually watched her particular uh channel uh and, and looked at the idea and decided to recreate it uh the same way that she created it and put it into the village where i am and it works perfect it is great for fishing where you live at so you don't have to go out in the water and go fishing you can actually just fish at your your area where you are i was getting ready to say base because i'm so used to playing these games with zombies sometime and um it works i was able to catch a lot of fishes fishing there also enchanted books also um things that you normally would fish in the water and, and come across so it came out working really well so i just wanted to share that with you and i'll share that video of her um, sharing how to create that I'll share that in the link in the comment section so that you can get like an idea of uh, how to create it in your game so I just wanted to share that part too so now after fighting these particular characters here uh, what I'm trying to do actually is actually put the seaweed up here so I can climb up there you can actually climb on seaweed which is really good so you don't always have to use a ladder um, to really climb on top of the building but um, that's what I'm doing so I really didn't want to uh, um, you know use ladders I'd rather do the seaweed seaweed grow really fast you put it up there and it grows on its own and then you just chop it down you know, of course with the shears and then you just put a lot of them in your um, storage area and then you can just put them on the side of the building of where you live at or even if you're just going somewhere or just decorated on the trees so that's what I was doing here I wanted to get on top of the roof so that I can get like these witches and just get like a little distance from them of course because they like throwing the potions so that's the reason I was putting the seaweed up there <laughs> So this part you're going to see the witch is going to throw this potion and I'm going to jump down and the reason I'm doing that uh, is because it is actually hitting one of the villagers in there and I did not know this villager was actually stuck uh, between these like image of chairs. I created like this 
which came out really good creating these little chairs in this area but I didn't know that he actually was stuck over there he had been standing there for quite a while I just assumed he wanted to stand in the corner but that's not the case once I break this down he actually takes off and run <laughs> he doesn't want to really be in there so he's gone um but um I didn't know he was stuck I actually didn't know he had been standing in that corner for quite a bit I just assumed that he was there, so I need to eventually kind of expand that building so uh, on that side so that I can just, you know, have those images, of, you know, looking like sitting chairs, like relaxing chairs. But um, I did not know that he was actually stuck over there. Um, he stays there. He does not go back in there. He refused to go back in there. I guess after getting hit with the potion, he was like, I don't think so, lady. You know? <laughs> But, um, like I said, this particular raid was, it was, a, it was a long time fighting. You can see that I pretty much have ran out of uh, arrows, so I'm creating sticks in order to find the character, the villager in here, who actually you can sell the sticks to and then get, like, a uh, emerald, and then you can buy, like, um bow and arrows from him but I, for some reason I think I just went blind <laughs> because I could not really find him and I could have been looking right at him and then really really realized that was him but I ran around for quite a bit like trying to find him and then I had to make a choice that I did want to make but I realized that also um, I had been bow and arrows already in um, my uh my house where I where my character is and so I went over there to get those bow and arrows from there but I'm just looking for him trying to find him This particular house is actually my house. You're going to see like a little bit of the cats, but not that many. I actually keep them down there because once they actually get loose, they'll start hopping on those um, chests and just sitting on top of them and don't want to move. And I always have to get them down and drag them back in there. But so at this point, I have remembered that I had some feathers. And so I can go ahead and make some more, some more bowing arrows because as I mentioned, I could not find the uh, villager who actually sell the bow and arrows and I could have been looking right at him and just assumed he was the butcher. Um, but um, as I said, the cats are down there. You kind of, you'll get like a little more glimpse of them a little further in this gameplay of me playing this, but I have a lot of cats and a lot of... Uh, I call them dogs, but they're not. They're they're wolves, but um, a lot of wolves and a lot of cats. And so, at this point, you know, I'm just trying to take this last witch out. Um, and so we go from. I think that's not the last witch. I think it's another one, or maybe another one of those other characters around. So I'm not sure.
Okay, in this part of the game, what I'm doing is running around the building, trying to, well not the building, but the village, trying to find these two particular mobs. I know there are two mobs left, uh, witches that are left, and I'm trying to locate them, and if I had went actually the opposite direction, I probably would have found them much faster, but apparently I decided to go the long way. Now, with the village where I live at, there is like a lot of areas where you can go under the village. And uh, the first time I had a raid at this village, I could not find the mobs that were coming for uh, the village in the raid. I couldn't find them, but I started hearing them. And then I was able to locate, locate them, and they were actually underground in one of these areas um, where you go under. And they were, I don't know if they were just staying there or not. But I didn't record that gameplay. I just recorded like a short amount of me going under there. And I shared it on my Twitter account. But um, they actually was trying to get in the village. I believe that way. I don't know how the mobs work. I know they knock down doors. I know that much they do. But um, I just couldn't find them at first. And then you'll see me locate where they are. Because I actually passed them and didn't know they were there. Now at this point you can see I'm getting nervous because I'm trying to get back into the building. I'm outside the building. So I wind up putting the craft table there instead and not a cobblestone. Well, it's not that I was trying to put a cobblestone. I think what I was trying to do is see if I, I think I was trying to put a cobblestone so I can go over the wall. And then I said forget it. I got to get in here because they're going to start coming. And I don't know what's coming so I wind up putting dirt up there which is what I did want to do. But um, it worked out fine, so I wind up putting cobblestone eventually towards that part because my main thing is just to keep them from getting in here. But I didn't have time to really change it to cobblestone, so I just double put that up there just to make sure they don't get in. And once I get over here, I just start talking to the character. Listen, I need help, you know, so... Um, he's looking at me like, you on your own? But it was starting to get to me a little bit. Because I knew I had one more fight to go. And this fight was going to probably be a little bit harder. But um, 
I'm not gonna deal with those witches. So then I go up here and try to figure out what's down there. And then I get a good look at some of the stuff that's, you know, trying to come for me. Yeah, you see, two of those things are over there. You're gonna see. So I'm starting to say, oh boy. Let me get down and start fighting. Now wait till you see what's riding this thing walking past. I didn't even know they can do that. I guess since the babies can ride pigs and cats and stuff, they can ride this big old thing and I had not a clue they can do that. So it kind of caught me off guard that he was on there. I thought he was going to jump off into the village. So at this point, I have to make a choice I don't want to make, but um, I'm glad the villagers are in their house. I know they normally have like an issue with you killing some of the animals to me. Um, so I have to go down here and make a choice. I need feathers, and so I'm covering it up so y'all don't see it if you have an issue with me killing chickens. But I had to make a choice. I had to kill them to get feathers. But this is just part one because like I said, it's a very long video and had I did part two with it, it would be much longer. So I just wanted to share part one. I'll put part two up tomorrow. I'm doing this. This should be coming up early in the morning on the 30th. So um, I should be doing the other one on the 31st, if not the 31st, the following day after that. So I just wanted to share a little Minecraft with you today. Have a blessed day.